Hi everybody, it's Sally from The Dental Barn and you may know something a bit, notice there's something a bit strange about my teeth but I'll explain everything in a minute. Now, um, one of the big things about us all being in lockdown is that we've got to try and look after our teeth uh, and gums really well because the cleaner we keep mouths, the better it will be. So this is something that people can do with their children, maybe make it into a science project, something like that. So what I've done is I've had one of these little tablets. Now, you don't need these tablets. If any of you guys have food colouring at home, you can put a little couple of drops of food colouring under your tongue um, or put it on a cotton bud and put it round your mouth and then have a swish round. But basically it's a dye and you can see from my finger, I've dyed my finger, so be careful everybody. But what it does is it stains where the plaque is. Now the plaque is a mass of germs, you know, living, eating, breathing, you know, basically having babies but splitting in half. And it's that which eats up the sugar in things that you eat and then it starts to spray out nasties, so toxins, um, that sort of thing. So basically, this is a way of looking where the plaque is, which gives you a much better idea of how to get it off. Now, everyone will know who's a patient of mine that we dye the plaque actually blue every time they come to the hygienist. So it gives them and, and me an idea of how well they're doing. One of my best tools for the job is an electric toothbrush. If you haven't got one, think of investing in one. Oral B's my favourite make, but you you know there's lots of other makes out there. Why I love the Oral B is it's got a little round brushing head, so you can get in all your nooks and crannies. And for kids, they're brilliant as well because they don't have to worry about having the dexterity of cleaning. You know the brush does it. It's a point and shoot really. So a couple of tips for brushing is don't run your brush under the tap, especially a hot tap, because that will make the bristles a lot softer. And you literally need a pea size. Now, this weirdly is a black toothpaste. Um, it's just a, a charcoal toothpaste. But the important thing is that you angle the bristles up into the gum. So you don't want to go flat against the teeth. You want to have a little angle. So you've almost sort of got half your tooth um, on your, uh, half your brush on your tooth and half on your gum. And it's a case of doing a tooth at a time and, and you know, spending a bit of time on each teeth. So I'm just going to have a little brush. I won't be able to talk at the same time, but I'll show you. Now you can see already that a lot of that pink's gone. And I'll just do a bit on the bottom and you'll see it doesn't take a lot of effort when you've got an electric brush. So you have to angle it down this time into the gum. And you can see a lot of the pink's gone. So you really need to start at the back and get yourself in a routine. But you can see how quickly and easily an electric brush get, gets rid of things. Um, so they come with the two minute timer. I sometimes think you need a little bit longer, but I hope that's helped. It's something you can do. They're called disclosing tablets or you can get gel. But as I say, bit of food colouring, you can perhaps have a bit of a laugh and have green or orange or red or some cool colour. All right, hope that's helped. Something to do with your kids that's a bit sciencey as well. Okay, bye-bye.